Hey guys, those communications, and back with another review. Yep, still dealing with whatever the hell it is I've got. Uh, thanks for all the <clears throat> um, kind words and everything like that. I really do appreciate all that. You know, get well soon. You know, thanks for all the kind words on the Flight of Black Angel review. Appreciate it. Thanks, thanks guys. Anyway, this is one that uh, it's a film I've been wanting to see for a while, and I decided to check it out recently. Uh, it says to watch Fire Back Angel. It's a movie dealing with, you know, you know, airplanes, fighter jets. Film called Into the Sun, which stars Anthony Michael Hall and Michael Pere, and I'm a big Michael Pere fan. And um, what's interesting, it has a little bit of a... Uh, it's produced by the How by Hallenberg, which is the same sort of people, same uh, production company and same producers that produce Flight of Black Angel. And... Uh, so, it's the same people produce Flight of Black Angel produce this. There's some stock footage from Iron Eagle, of course, in this, as well as in Flight of Black Angel. And, um, I believe this has its own, uh, stock foot has its own footage as well. Um, but anyway, I really had fun with this one. This is an entertaining flick. This is like, you take The Hard Way with Michael J. Fox, and you combine it with Iron Eagle. And you've got Into the Sun. If you... I think it's a lot better than Steven Seagal's in Into the Sun, that's for sure. Um, if you're a fan of Michael Prey, I highly recommend it. If you're a big fan of that actor, you'll you'll have you'll enjoy his role in this. Um, I just thought it was a really fun movie. Like, was it the most realistic? No, not even in the slightest. But it was very entertaining and fun. Had some good uh, uh, flight sequences, some good uh, sequences, uh, dogfight scenes. I thought it had a great performance by Lyndon Ashby. Lyndon Ashby, yeah. Johnny Cage is in this. Johnny Cage himself from Mortal Kombat is in this. And he plays a a bad guy. He plays a mercenary pilot named Dragon. That's his code name. Who's uh, basically taking big money to work for the enemy. For the Iraqis. And the uh, reason why I really love Lyndon Ashby in this is not only is it nice to see Lyndon Ashby, but his performance is top-notch because he plays a villain who's just cocky. He's not the type of... He's just cocky, calm, cool, confident. He's not... He's, he's, he's a little bit of a nut job, but he's not the type of nut job who's yelling and screaming and posturing and all of a sudden. He's just, he's just really cocky, cool, calm, and confident. And it really, it really does draw you in. Like when he's on the screen, you're sucked into the film. You're like, man, he's really uh, endearing somewhat. He's an endearing villain, you know. He just, he's just like, you know, hey, calm, cool, collected, wise ass type villain. And it was nice to see Lyndon Ashby, and it was nice to see him in that type of role, and he pulled it off. So if you're interested in seeing Lyndon Ashby play a bad guy. Check this out. Check out Into the Sun because he actually does a good job, in my opinion. Like even when he knows he's about to get shot down by Michael Pere at the end of the movie, he's like, ah, whatever. <sighs> ah. <laughs> so, but it was really, really fun performance. It was a fun movie. Uh, directed by Fritz Kirsch, the same guy who directed Children of the Corn. Yep, directed this movie. Uh, like I said, it stars Anthony Michael Hall as uh, actor Tom Slade. Who wants to? He's planning on getting ready for a role in his next film, where he's going to play a fighter pilot. So he manages to convince the Air Force Academy to get their best pilot, uh, Michael Pere, uh, who plays Captain Watkins. His code name is Shotgun. To get him to train him, basically to teach him the ropes. And so the first half of the film is pretty much a lot of the just you know. Michael Pere babysitting Anthony Michael Hall. And uh, Anthony Michael Hall tries to steal his girl away from him. He doesn't like that, so he starts, you know, fucking with him. So he's like, you know, all right, you know, if you want to be a real Air Force pilot, you got to do your push ups with your hands behind your head. <laughs> you know, so he's really like giving him all kinds of shit. And then he realizes that, you know, that they didn't really sleep together that one night. It was funny because, you know, he ends up setting the firearm alarm off because he's a smoker. And he sets the fire alarm off before they, before uh, Michael, before uh, Anthony Michael Hall, Tom Slade, and uh, Deborah Moore uh, 
Michael Perret's a girl, major good, um, can get it on. And it's like not the funniest thing ever, but there are some fun moments. Like I love the whole thing where they're talking about. Uh, I really also like Terry Kaiser's in this as well. Uh, Bernie from Weekend at Bernie's. He plays pretty much. He plays uh, Michael. He played not Michael Perret. He plays Anthony Michael Hall's uh, agent uh, guy. He plays it, that his character. Um, it's a very you know he plays Mitchell Burton his agent, and he had he has some fun moments. Uh, you know I like I like his performance. He was fun to watch. And uh, I like the whole thing where they're reading over the screenplay. You know, I think Michael Hall is asking, Tom Slade is asking uh, Watkins, Michael Perret, what he thought of the screenplay. And he's like, you know, well, I thought it was okay. But, you know, there's some inaccuracies. I was like, oh, what? What were they? Well, I'm not really a critic. And then I love how uh, I think Michael Hall is like, well, everyone's a critic. And I'm like, that's, that's true. Everyone is a critic. Perfect. Um, and... Uh, here I am. I'm critiquing Into the Sun. Uh, but anyway, so... I like the whole thing where he's all like... Uh, you know, I think Michael Hall's like, come, come on, come on. You know, everyone's a critic. Come on, let me know. Let me know. It. Well, for one, you know, the ending here... Uh, he says, like, uh, I'm gonna go... You know, he says a line, basically. This is where the title comes from. The film's title, Into the Sun, comes from. Is because he's... Reading off the, the, you know, the the line from from the script. And uh, he's all like, because he, it sounds like some BS. Like to Michael Perret, it sounds like something that he would never say, this type of scenario. So he's about to he's about to go down. His plane's about to go down. And he's saying some something about going into the sun. You know, you're going to see me, oh, you know, one of these days, you know, I'm going to go into the sun. And I, that's not the exact line of dialogue, but I just don't remember it for the time being. Exactly. I can't find the quote on IMDb. So basically what happens is, I like how Michael Perry's like, that. I would never say that. And then Anthony calls, I'm like, well, well, then what would you say? I have something like, shit, shit, oh shit, shit, shit. And then, like everybody in, in the in the room, they're eating dinner and everything, or looking around, like, what the fuck? And, and then Michael, Anthony Michael Hall's like, it's great, it's great, I love that, shit, 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 yeah, yeah, you know, uh, uh, Mitchell, write that in there, write that in, the, write that in there, oh, write that in, shit, 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 write that in the script, okay, all right, shit, shit, shit. <laughs> so I, I, I had fun with that. That was, a, that was a fun line of dialogue. And so basically what happens is, ultimately, uh, Michael, uh, Anthony Michael Hall's character, Tom Slade, ends up getting permission from, you know, the Hollywood guys and to pulling some strings to make it so he can fly in a fighter jet. So Watkins takes him along, and what happens is... They're, they're, what happens is uh, a situation evolves with the other fighter pilots, and they're in danger, they're getting shot, they're getting attacked... By an enemy fighter pilot, and so he ends up. Michael Prey's character, shotgun, ends up going against you know, against the rules, and ends up uh, trying to save his fellow fighter fighter jet pilots. And in the process, he ends up getting shot down. So he and Anthony Michael Hall ends up ejecting out of out of the out of the plane just in time, so they can. Uh, so that you know they end up parachuting, and they land in the desert. And they end up getting, uh, I think it's somewhere in Iraq, or around somewhere around there, and they end up getting kidnapped. And uh, of course, there were some other fun moments before uh, that you know they had uh, before the really kind of I guess sort of the action starts to come into play because I like the whole sort of moment where they're training. So you have Michael Pere and Anthony Michael Hall, and they're getting into this room where they're dealing with you know uh, what happens when you're up in the air, twenty thousand feet in the air. And you don't have any oxygen, and he's like, and he's like you're acting all nutty and cra crazy and stuff like that. And I had fun with that scene because you know it's all like you know Michael Perez laughing and giggling, I'm like you sure you sure you don't need any oxygen? You sure you don't need any of this? And I think Michael Hall's like, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. What do you mean, I'm fine? What? It's like, are oh, you sure? <laughs> so it, it, it's kind of, you know, it's the type of stuff in this movie like I can't really explaining it doesn't do it justice you got to see the film um 
But yeah, there there's a lot of fun moments. I thought I thought Michael Pere and Anthony Michael Hall had really good chemistry. I thought they had good chemistry together. Uh, they were a fun you know duo to watch on screen. And um, the idea of having a movie star, you know, he's the star of Lightning Strikes and Lightning Strikes Again, and uh, you know, teaming up with a real fighter pilot, I thought was a pretty cool idea. It's like the hard way meets Iron Eagle. Complete with stock footage from Iron Eagle. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, what happens is, you know, after we're, after you know the plane gets shot down, they land in the desert. I think my Hall's the hot shot guy, so he's sitting there with a piece of the piece of Michael Perret's plane, trying to sun himself in the sun. He's like got shorts on and shit, and he's like, "Man, I can't be out here too long, or I'm I'm gonna burn up." And he's like, "Michael Perret's like, what are you doing?" It's like I, I'm, I, you know, I'm just relaxing. Hey, it's hot outside. He's like, like, "What are you doing? You want to die? Let's go. <laughs> Let's get out of here. They're gonna be looking for us." And then eventually, what happens is Anthony Michael Hall tries to get some help, and of course, he ends up getting kidnapped along with Michael Pere. And what happens is, you know, they actually don't kidnap. They don't get kidnapped right away. They 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 think they're getting help by these uh, freedom fighter guys. And you find out that no, they were just in on it to get some cash. And then they kind of felt bad though, because then they found out that not that Michael Hall was this big star. And um, eventually they end up breaking out Anthony Michael Hall and Michael Pere out of the prison before Pere ends up getting hung. And then, you know, you have the whole sort of scenes. I like the scenes with Lyndon Ashby. You find that you don't know who this dragon guy is at first. And this is a guy who shot down. Uh, Michael Pere is, you know, some of his best friends, you know, from Fighter Pilot, you know, from the Academy. You know, this dragon guy shot him down. And, um, and he really didn't know much about this, this guy. You, you just saw, you didn't even see who it was until about an hour or so into the movie when you figure out that it's Lennon Ashby. And I thought it was actually a pretty well done twist because you're like, oh, it's not a, it's not the typical cliched, uh, you know, Israeli uh, fighter pilot villain guy, you know, nameless whatever dude with a mustache or some shit. And they even started off when the guy was talking originally, when you saw a dragon, you just saw his, his helmet, you just saw him talking even before he, his identity was revealed and he was speaking in Israeli. So you're thinking like, oh, this is some random Israeli guy. But really, no, it's, it's London Ashby. He's dragon. He's this mercenary. And even, you know, Michael Perret says that when he sees who he is, he's all like, you goddamn mercenary! I was like, yeah, well, you know, all I gotta say is, uh, you know, it sure pays better than the United States. It pays better than the fighter pilot, you know, than the Navy, than the Air Force. Um, also, you know, I got, you know, vision problems, so, you know, I gotta fly. Because the whole thing is you can't, I guess, an Air Force uh, Academy, they, then uh, they will not. You know, the Air Force won't let you fly a plane if you have to wear corrective lenses. And Lyndon Ashby's character wears glasses. So, he and you know, he ends ends up, because he wants to fly. He's like, I gotta fly, man. You gotta understand. And he's like, you son of a bitch. And um, I like the whole scene where, you know, Lyndon Ashby's just, he's wearing this shirt that says, I love airplane noise, which is a random shirt. And then he's just sitting there, you know, Eating calmly, coolly collected, just eating chip, potato chips, eating chips, and just chatting with Michael Pere, who's in his cell. And he's just like, you know, I'm sorry. You know, I tried to do everything I could. I tried to pull every all the strings I could, but, you know, they're going to they're gonna hang you. Sucks. <laughs> you know, this is that kind of fun sort of performance. And he's like, you want a chip? And it's like... <laughs> Michael Pere doesn't say anything. He just lays back and looks at him with like a dirty glare, like "fuck you." I don't want you. I don't want a fucking chip. I want to take that bag of chips and shove it up your ass. But anyway, that's not really what he says. But my probably is what Michael Pere is thinking. But um, I I just I really like Lyndon Ashby in this. He was not in it for that long. Like his his he only has like maybe about maybe 15, 20 minutes of total screen time. Maybe even less than that. But he's definitely in it enough, though, to, to make an impact. It was very enjoyable uh, 
villain performance. I thought Lyndon Ashby was really good. I can't say it enough. I really like Lyndon Ashby in this. And I like Lyndon Ashby anyway, and I really wish that he had more roles, you know, after Mortal Kombat. Which would have made more sense made sense since Mortal Kombat was a hit. But whatever. But anyway, eventually what happens is, you know, the Freedom Fighter guys end up breaking out Anthony Michael Hall and um he ends up helping, you know, they end up saving Michael Pere from getting hung. And then Michael Pere ends up getting in a plane, and it's like a single seater. And Michael and Matthew Michael Hall, like he's like, we gotta get in the plane, we gotta get out of here. And he's like, oh no, Michael, Michael, Matthew Michael Hall's like, oh no, I'm not doing that. I'm not getting in a plane with you. No, no. All right, okay, you sure you can handle your, handle yourself? Yeah, I can. I'm fine myself fine. And then Michael Hall walks, he runs away, and then he, then of course, you know, Michael Prey gets in the plane, and then it might, 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 Michael Hall's mack it on the side of the plane, like, hey, hey, come on, I changed my mind, let me. And he's like, I'm sorry, this is a single seater. It's like, well, fuck it, this is be it. And so he gets in, and um, they get in together. Is they getting tight, close, and you know, you know, packed in there in a single seater fighter jet, which is ridiculous and completely unrealistic. But I don't really care because it's an enjoyable, fun movie. So I already turned off my brain to begin with. So anyway, then they you know head off in the air, and, and Dragon goes after them. Uh, Michael Pere and Michael Hall they end up taking out the runway first, and then Dragon ends up chasing after them. And so then it's a really c cool. I thought it was a nice, uh, 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 little exciting, fun chase with Dragon going after Shotgun and, and Slade, and they have to do acrobatics and aerial dogfights to get away from him. And eventually, they play a deadly game of chicken, and uh, you know Michael Pere ends up blowing Dragon's ass out of the sky. And even Lynn and Ashby before he dies is just like, man, this is you know, boom. <laughs> So uh, yeah, Lennon Ashby was he was really cool in this. He was just, he was he was cool. He was just like, yeah, you know, I'm I'm a mercenary, but I'm getting paid and I'm probably getting laid and you know this is this is awesome. <laughs> so that, that that's a lot of his his performances was great because it was not typical. You don't see that type of villain a lot nowadays. The kind of fun, you know, calm, cool, collected, you know call cool under pressure villain he's not stereotypical he's just a normal he's just he's just a guy doing a doing a job you know and you know he's getting paid and he's doing what he loves which is fl flying flying planes but he's doing it for not for the best causes but you know you, you still got you still love watching that guy you still love watching him on the screen uh, that makes a great villain because he's charismatic Anyway, he ends up getting blown out of the sky, you know, shrugging his shoulders <laughs> before he ends up getting blown out of the sky. And uh, there's a little bit of extra, a little bit of suspense. Or Anthony Michael Hall, Michael Prey, they got shot by Dragon earlier, you know. So now they're they have to they're 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 gonna crash into the ocean. So they decide to turn upside down into a barrel roll and break open the canopy and fall into the ocean. But of course, you, you just see it fade to black. So you're thinking, and then it kind of cuts to what you think is a funeral with like shotgun's best friend and saying stuff like, "Oh, we did die. I'm sorry. I, I I'm sorry. I shot you." Because actually, what it was is his best friend. His, it, uh, I mean, the fighter pilot school. You know, one of his best. He's not really. A, he's not a fighter pilot student. He's an actual fighter pilot. His best friend ended up shooting him. Because he thought, you know, he was an Israeli guy. So, you know, Brian Haley, who plays a Lieutenant DiCarlo. And so DiCarlo ends up shooting him down. And also, I forgot, also, there's a... Michael St. Gerard is also in this. Superboy. From the Superboy... Super, the, from the Superboy TV series is also in this. He plays a character named Wolf. who ends up getting shot down by Dragon. And, um... And Michael Perret ended up saving DiCarlo... Uh, when he ended up going into combat with Anthony Michael Hall, and then that ended up the whole thing where they got shot down and ended up in the desert and ended up, uh, you know, in danger and ended up being kidnapped. And, um, but basically, you find out in the end, Anthony Michael Hall, Michael Pere, they make it out alive, of course. 
It was just sort of trying to trick you, make it think it's a funeral, but really no. It's just it's just his the DiCarlo said talking to Michael Pere and be like, You gotta make sure you know, I'm sorry, you know, man, I'm sorry I shot you, but you know, can you sign this so it can you know, make it you know, so you can I can uh use your uh your plane as a confirmed kill? And he's like, You son of a bitch. You you asshole. Uh but anyway, um and then pretty much the movie ends. Anthony Michael Hall says some crazy stuff over the credits. Like, he's just complaining. You know, because he's kind of a whiny sort of guy in this. And then that's the end of the movie. It's a really fast-paced flick, I thought. It's not very long. It's like, I think it's like an hour and... Um, it's 101 minutes, so it's not that long at all. It's like an hour and 40-something minutes. I thought it went by pretty quick. Uh, enjoyable performances. Is it a perfect film? No. No, it's not perfect. I mean, I wouldn't say it's an action-packed movie. It really isn't. Um, but the scenes that are there, the flying scenes that are there are cool. Uh, some fun little lines of dialogue. Some fun but fun bits of humor. The chemistry between the two leads, Anthony Michael Hall and Michael Pere, is, I thought was really fun. I thought they did a really good job. Michael Pere was great. Anthony Michael Hall had... It was having a good time. It seemed like they had a good time filming this. The direction was solid. Uh, the villain was good. Lyndon Ashby was top notch. I really like Lyndon Ashby in this. And overall, for a directed video or, or like, I guess limited theatrical release in 1992 uh, film, really good. I have to say, I, I really did enjoy the film. I highly enjoyed enjoyed Into the, Into the Sun as a, as a bit of popcorn entertainment. And if you could turn your brain off, I think you can have a good time with this. If you enjoyed the hard way of Michael J. Fox and James Woods, you might have good, good, might get a kick out of this one because it's just it's like another version of that film uh, with the movie star trying to you know, you know, experience what it's like to be you know a real fighter pilot instead of a real cop. And um, if you like Michael Pere, you'll have a good time because he has a good amount of screen time in this and is. You know, has some cool moments, and um, yeah, I mean, if you like, and if you like uh, fighter jet movies, if you like stuff like Top Gun or Iron Eagle, this will be right up your alley too. So, I really, don't want to say, folks, that was rate Into the Sun out of five stars. I give four, four to five. Enjoyable flick. Like I said, it's not perfect. I mean, there are some problems. Um, some of the humor to me didn't work. Um, some of the acting. Well, the two leads is solid, but some of the other acting is not the greatest. And, um, you know, the action was there, but it wasn't like anything super memorable. But I liked the movie, and I highly enjoyed it for the two leads. I highly enjoyed it for Anthony Michael Hall and Michael Pere, and that's the main reason why I really enjoyed the film. Those two, I thought, had a great time. Were, you know, had a great time together, and I thought they really did have good chemistry. And I also highly enjoyed it from Lyndon Ashby played this calm, cool, collected, charismatic villain who is very enjoyable to watch on the screen. You know. And, uh, but anyway, no else to say except thanks for watching my review of Into the Sun, and I'll see you guys later. See ya.